How often should you take a course correction in your healing program? Well, once a month. You know, the, the, the moon goes around the earth once a month, changes its, its phases. And that's, that's no small thing. You know, in the natural environment that are, we're adapted to, that means a huge change in environmental light signals, which, you know, is the, the octave of, of energy that we're most sensitive to. We are visual beings. Two-thirds of all the nerve current into our brain comes from the two optic nerves. Did you know that any, any light at night brighter than a full moon is bright enough to shut down our pineal gland? So if you turn on a white light at night to go to the bathroom, your pineal gland might be off for hours. It might not even turn back on for the whole rest of the night. We recommend using red night lights or red flashlight at night if you're going to get up and, and move around so you don't interfere with that pineal function because it's a blue sensitive pathway that regulates that from the eyes through the autonomic nervous system back into the brain. It's, it's a very interesting pathway, which is unique to humans because other animals have their pineal gland directly uh, sensitive to environmental light. Interesting that ours is in a dark place, so I believe it's so we can, so the pineal can become more sensitive to other frequencies than the visible light, because it's an eyeball, it has a retina, it has a lens, it has a cornea. Uh, and we'll talk lots more about that, if that's of interest, uh, you know, check, check out our materials where we're gonna look in, into that, uh, that whole aspect even more. Why is that? Why is this navigational sense, uh, sensory organ, it's an eye, What's it doing in the middle of, of the human human skull? Unique location of any, any species. Uh, it's called the seat of the soul. Very interesting. How often should you change your program? How often should you take a course correction in your healing plan? Of, you know, what supplements and remedies you're taking? Uh, I see lots of people, when I see them initially, who maybe have taken the same supplement, same pattern of supplements for months, years, you know, decades, and yet still are trying to use those same supplements to solve the same problem that they've had that whole time, and it may not be getting better. So there's a clue there. You know, it, it's a dynamic system that we're dealing with. We change with the seasons, and we change even with the, the moon cycles. We know that hormonal systems, it's very obvious, obvious in, in, in women, that there's a, a monthly hormonal cycle. Men also have, we have biorhythmic cycles on around that range, 23 to 33 days. And so, and that's what I find clinically, is that if we change the program on a once a month cycle, we could change it more often, but you know what? The results are about the same, and oftentimes if I test in the middle of a cycle, I, I see that, oh, you're still balanced by the, that same program. But if you're having a healing crisis, that's a time to recheck. That's a time to take a course correction. Even if you think, oh, this is a flu. This is, you know, just, uh, uh, just yeah, I, maybe I ate something wrong. I'm just feeling some stomach bug or something. Okay, and it might be that that's the trigger, not the, not the healing program itself. It could be either way, you might not know. But even if it's the flu that's going around, that's a significant change. Your body is now addressing that. If you're feeling it, it's doing something different, and it probably could benefit from a little course correction, a little addition to the program to ease you through that. Because when we have something like a flu or a fever, there's a generalized immune response. It's not just attacking the virus. It's not just cleaning out the, you know, the, the toxic food that we ate. When there's inflammation in tissue, there's a general cleansing of the tissue. It's the immune system is going in, it's making it acidic, it's increasing the fluid, it's expanding that tissue, dissolving whatever is stored there. There might be stuff in there in that same tissue that's been stored there for years or decades. But that general inflammatory immune response is going to work on cleaning out the whole tissue. And this is why you know, having a fever once or twice a year is actually a preventive factor in terms of cancer risk. Uh, having the flu is, in my opinion, uh, you know, a prevention for worse conditions versus having uh, an inoculation, a flu shot. Actually, the evidence shows that it puts us into a low energy terrain. It actually suppresses our immunity. Not, not, not because inoculations fundamentally do that, but because the dose is too strong. Because we're not able to fully detoxify the, the amount of, of toxins that we're exposed to in conventional inoculations, along with 
you know, uh, the preservatives, sometimes mercury-based pre preservatives that are added to these. So it's an intoxication that actually lowers our immunity, lowers our ability to deal with other past stresses, just another layer, uh, another straw on your camel's back. 